Bridge Tech official tutorial video. Thank you for choosing Ridge Tech. In this video, we'll discuss the overview tab on the My Cameras page of our web portal. This video will be part of a mini series of sorts covering each tab on the My Cameras page. Once you've gotten your camera or cameras all set up and deployed, you're able to manage them from the My Cameras page on the portal. Let's start by logging in and heading to the My Cameras page. On the far left, if you have more than one camera active, you'll see a list of your cameras with their battery life and last contact with the server. You can refresh this list if you're waiting for an upload to come in, or close this section with the little X button. When it's closed, two buttons will appear above the tabs. The one with the arrows opens the camera's window back up, and the camera icon allows you to switch between your cameras with a drop-down box. Each tab on the My Cameras page applies to the camera you currently have selected. Now we'll touch on each section of this overview screen starting with status. You'll see your camera's status at the top right, and down below you'll see your camera's name and its location. Below that, your pool points will be displayed as a meter with a percentage. It starts green at 100% as shown, becomes dark blue as your points are used up, and will be a solid gray bar when it's empty. Remember that unused pull points will not carry over to the following month. Next we have your points reserve, with the dollar amount and points amount you have left in your reserve. As long as there are points in your pool, this number won't change and these points will never expire. Underneath your points you'll see information about your camera's performance. The signal on our demo cam is 75%. Since our cameras display your signal as a number from 1 through 32, this means the demo cam has a signal number of 24. Battery information is listed under the signal. Make sure to keep an eye on your battery life and check your camera's batteries when this falls to 50%, as some batteries hold a nearly full charge for a long period of time and then quickly deplete. We recommend using Energizer Lithium batteries if you're not using solar or AC power to run your camera, as they perform much better than alkaline batteries over time in inclement weather. Next, you'll see the amount of space left on your camera's SD card and the temperature of the area your camera is deployed in. You'll want to keep an eye on the temperature, as severely low temperatures can negatively affect battery life. Under this initial camera information is a More Info button. Click on this for more behind-the-scenes info about your camera. You'll find a module ID, your SIM ICC ID number, serial number, model name, and more exact reading of the space on your SD card, the firmware version your camera's running, and so on. Your pull points will also be displayed here as an exact amount, rather than the percentage shown above. To the right of status, you'll see the Event Data section. This will tell you the last time your camera contacted the server, when you last armed it or switched it to ON, your uploads and costs since arming, and the time of your camera's last heartbeat or check-in with the server, as well as its last photo and when it last downloaded settings. At the bottom is the camera's next expected contact, which goes by a time frame you select on the Settings tab, which we'll go over in a future video. Underneath status is the Live Settings currently on your camera button. Click on this to see the settings that are currently set up on your camera. You can change these in the Settings tab. You'll see the last time your camera downloaded these settings, whether it's in photo or video mode, resolution settings, and more, including how information is displayed on the info strip at the bottom of your photos. Again, we'll discuss these settings in deeper detail in a future video. That's about it for the Overview tab. In the next video in this My Cameras mini-series, we'll take a look at the Gallery tab and managing your thumbnails. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit us online or contact us via the methods shown on screen.